What's up, Skull Army? Skull Crusher here, and yes, my friends, we're coming right back at you with another Boom Beach video. Warships Season 10 officially wrapping up, guys. Do not forget to leave a like and thumbs up on today's video. Smash that subscribe button if you are new, and get ready, guys. We got Season 10 wrapping up and building the hype for Season 11. Guys, we are on Skull Crusher here, and um, I'm sorry that there is no last minute stream here dash to the very end pushing into the top 500 guys one of the main reasons for that is uh that we are already nice and secure on the top 500 so parking was a smart strategy for me here off uh, for me on skull crusher and captain uh, borealis guys I i've been actually quite um sad not being able to ship these last couple days here uh but even going back and parking this account three days and one hour ago a uh, shout out to enrique 17 that was my last battle of the season um a whopping 14 stars uh, for that win as well guys catapulted skull crusher to 26 out of 120 in legendary one very very happy with that going back to the local canadian leaderboard guys we are still i repeat we are still parked and what ranked on the no scroll there, sixth, which is incredible in my opinion right there, guys. I mean, there's a lot, there's four main players still literally giving it their all here for the local leaderboard here. Big shout out to PK Philosopher King. Big shout out to Sand Shark. Big shout out to Gera G. Big shout out to Ryan. And maybe rounded up at five there. Derek's place is still kind of popping in and out there. Alex is still giving it at all right there. I know Mini Bobber Triple J Y Y Z. Shout out to those two. They are parked as well. And all together in Canada, guys, we do currently have 14 legendary players. Uh, two of them are mine with Skull Crusher and Borealis being ranked 6th and 8th on local right now, which is a massive, massive accomplishment uh, for me this season, guys. Even going to the global leaderboard, there are so many familiar names here. It is just absolutely insane. Look at that, guys. Mephisto right off the bat there, guys. That's a Sugar Shipper. Big shout out to Sugar Ship, guys. Incredible uh, what Sugar Ship has been able to accomplish this season as well. But for the global leaderboard, guys, as you can see, Skull Crusher is nestled in very very nicely towards the top 300 here let's keep going and there we are 298 right now guys with six hours and 50 minutes left i'm very very confident with that number right there there's no way guys that we're going to be dropping uh 202 spots there uh in six hours and 49 minutes but i will tell you that i'm getting a little bit uh nervous for my friend captain borealis here guys last i checked we we're about 422 424 and uh where are we where are we oh my lanta there we are 424 so we're still 424 on borealis guys uh this is getting a little bit nerve-wracking on this account here guys 66 more spots 67 more spots and we are out of this leaderboard on borealis guys i did park borealis almost five days ago next season for sure you know i will play a little bit more aggressive secure a little bit more of a star lead maybe even give it my all and go for a top 50 run on one of these accounts guys uh, but nonetheless it is just absolutely crazy uh the fact that borealis is still holding a spot with 13 stars and legendary one and we did park that account almost five days ago but once again guys just an insane amount of familiar names on this leader board it's crazy how competitive how awesome this season has been big shout out to new new and team from boom beach guys for an incredible tech tree um and honestly even hiding the names this season has made an incredible difference really putting um a, a stop you know, to the max uh, match fixing that was happening in previous seasons. Uh, now, I'm not saying it's 100% fixed, uh, but there has been a, a massive, massive dent put in it. So having the names already blocked off it, it is incredible. Players not knowing who they're matching. They're giving it their all. Friend or foe. Uh, what I mean by friend or foe is somebody they know versus somebody they don't know. You know, they're still giving it their all. So, it, you know, it's a great competitive edge not knowing who you're battling. Uh, just, you know, the way the tech tree was also designed this season it's just been incredible so big shout out to Nunu and team from boom beach guys and once again let me know in the comments what your thoughts have been for warships season 10 here and some things to consider moving forward with warships guys i um, mean this can be applied to season 11 season 12 and beyond here guys we're just going to go over you know a few ways here that you can really 
improve your warship game here guys we're gonna go through just some of my replays here uh there's only 10 of them in the log here but none the less here guys the first thing that you can do to really start improving your game at warships guys and that's joining a support group so whether it's a tf dedicated to warships or an off game social media communications app that can be anything like telegram discord whatsapp line facebook you know facebook messenger shout out to the bptfrg reddit and so so forth guys joining a server dedicated to warships a chat room a forum will greatly benefit you when you've got just as many players that are just as dedicated to warships as you are and want to see you succeed as much as them succeeding so having a support group is a great great benefit for warships here and second thing you can do to start improving your warship game guys and that's following the global and your local leaderboard now the reason why this is so important here guys is because you want to get an idea of the tech and the warship layouts no scroll club players will be owning whether it's for their country or globally um because they have the right tech and they have the right warship layouts so i can't stress enough that having faith in your base will benefit you and no scroll uh no scroll uh leaderboard players are doing something right they clearly have faith in their base um copy their layouts as best you can check in on a daily basis to see any changes in tech or design some cool things to remember there now you know even if it's just once a day that you're popping back in there to check on that global leaderboard that local leaderboard to get an idea of some layouts some tech guys that's definitely the way to go number three here guys obviously look at your tech tree and either plan or get an idea of your path so i can't stress this enough as well understanding the direction you plan on taking is crucial here it will keep you on track to the next massive unlock and push when that window opens. Now, a lot of people ask at times, you know, Skull, what does it mean when the window opens? Well, that's a very good question. When the window opens, essentially, it's when you unlock that next node that gives you an edge. Now, whether that be a stat node, whether that be uh, an offensive node, a defensive node, just a node that gives you an edge before the masses reach it. So when the masses reach reach that node and everyone has that either troop health that barrage that heavy chopper that's when the window closes it's back to a grind until the next window opens this is the benefit of pushing at the start of the season guys to give yourself that edge and to be at the start of that push when the window does open because a lot of these top leaderboard no scroll players guys they are they are the window when it opens guys they're setting the tone they're setting the meta they're pushing hard they're making it happen guys so you definitely want to essentially get an idea of when to push when the window opens and then of course when it closes it's a good time not to push there so some pretty cool ideas right there to remember guys and once again one more thing you can do that will improve your game at warships here my friends and that is playing with multiple accounts guys and once again the reason why playing with multiple accounts can be beneficial to you is to take different tech tree paths and of course to find out which path is better and also it's super fun guys now you don't need instant training for multiple accounts pushing warships without instant training is possible it is just a little a bit slower my friend so using multiple accounts is a great way to improve your warship gameplay due to the fact that you can take those different tech tree paths and really really you know see what which way works better and finally to round out this list here to improve your game at warships moving forward guys that is follow the boom tubers my friends no matter no matter how big no matter how small the best way you can also improve your game is see what the boom tubers are doing whether it is op destroy with his kickoff season stream whether it is chicken with the daily daily content with what to unlock and how to win or shishka bobber with some very educational information on crucial crucial nodes um in warships guys or skull crusher or pirate pete with every other day streaming to give the community some awesome content and to also show the masses the metas that are popular and that are happening in the game so big shout out to the boom tubers guys you really really want to check them out 204 the seeker king another phenomenal one and 
and of course shout out to the ogs as well you know zedmont cosmic duo as well it, it's awesome guys no matter how big or how small the boom tubers will greatly benefit you so once again guys worship season 10 officially wrapping up here guys let me know in the comments where you plan on finishing off guys i'm gonna have a great start for season 11 i hope you guys had a blast for worship season 10 as well and i also hope you are looking forward to the start of season 11 here so remember skull army do not forget to leave a like and thumbs up on today's video if you are new and you were digging this content crush that subscribe button ring that bell stay notified for when i go live and upload awesome boom beach content because the season is officially wrapping up guys six hours 41 minutes it's almost there grind it out to the end park it hold your spot either way guys it's wrapping up and we're building the hype for season 11 well all right my friends we will officially be wrapping up the video once again guys you can definitely follow me on twitter and of course join my discord server as well we will have links in the video description below i think it's time to make like a tom and cruise have a great day, everyone. Peace!